everyone! Welcome to Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah. This is Clint Hansen. We are here to answer your questions and we're super happy to do it. I like your hat. Yeah. This is the same. Is this a different? No, nope. I've been wearing same. this hat a lot. This, this is, is a dead the, foot arms hat. Okay, I thought it was slightly different maybe, but it is the same. Yeah, I've been wearing this one a lot. Hats are great. Well, the right hat. Because I don't have a real good head for hats. Look, kind of a chrome accent. I feel the same way about my head. Yeah, but you, I don't, well, okay, I guess you can feel that way too. I feel like I put hats on and I just, I look like a hat fraud. Like, I just don't, I don't look cool. I look I like I was homeschooled and I can't wear hats. Which, okay, I was homeschooled. I'm just gonna be honest. I was homeschooled all the way up to college. Why are you laughing? <laughs> because I kind of was poking fun at homeschoolers, but I am. We don't do that on I'm this such channel. a homeschooler. We don't do that on No, I love. I love homeschoolers. Raise your hand if you were homeschooled. Let me know below. If Jeffrey, you're, homeschooled. you're homeschooled? Jeffrey, you're homeschooled? Jeffrey's behind the hangout right again today. Jeffrey, that's what? so great. Yay! Homeschoolers unite! I wasn't homeschooled. <laughs> Public school all the way. The way you say that. <laughs> well, I think we're both super cool people and a great example of not homeschooled, homeschooled. And we're both super cool. Right? Just, I'm super cool, right? Oh no, you're absolutely super cool. I'm just not being presumptuous thinking I'm super cool. You are super cool, Clint. Alright, I appreciate that. Yes, you are. And you pull off cool hats. Okay. Alright, I'll take that. You just built my confidence. Did I motivate you? You did. I've been Yet <laughs> again. You gotta be this motivational speaker thing. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm looking into it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I, I can do it. Okay, are you ready for questions? Yes. We have a question. Did I startle you with my hand? No, I'm good. I feel okay. safe. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, our question is from our friend Chris Howard. Okay. Uh, this is a four-part question. So Ooh. brace yourself. All right, let's okay, knock this out. Four banger. Hey, guys, I have a few questions. I bought a BA-308 18-inch fluted barrel and a BA-308 BCG for a aero precision upper receiver build. Okay. Do you recommend that I have the headspace checked, or should I assume that it will be safe and accurate due to both products being built by the same awesome manufacturer? That is a great assumption, and yes, for that barrel to even be complete and leave this building, or even to get an indexing pin in it, it has to pass both function and our no-go, and go-go gauges, and go-go gauges, ha, <laughs> and all incremental so we know where we sit. And yes, you got the BCG from here, so we do know where we stand that way. So you are in good hands. However, I'm never going to knock it if somebody wants to be redundant and or just be sure. So it's kind of the whole measure twice, cut once principle. Yeah. So if you want to be safe and you've got a reputable source to go do that with or you know what you're doing, yeah, have at it. Next, the barrel isn't dimpled or pinned for a gas block. Do I need to dimple, pin, or do you recommend that I do both? In other words, will tightening the set screws be enough to secure the gas block in place? It being a stainless steel barrel, I think it is soft enough to where the, the screws and the and the gnarled bottoms is going to bite into it. You know, I would recommend using some Loctite. If you're going to take it any other step further, uh, it's not the most difficult thing to dimple a barrel. So again, it's going to be pretty easy to eat into the surface and make a nice dimple for you. But again, if you're going to do that, still use some Loctite. And we do cover dimpling barrels yourself on this channel. Yep. So we'll put a link there on the top right for you. Third question. Do you recommend an adjustable gas block for a th for 308 builds? I do. I do. Uh, a 308, you know, just like a 556 is a high pressure round, but it's a 308. So I think it's actually amplified a little bit on the Air 10, especially with the versatility and the different uh, ammo you can buy. So that being said, you can increase back pressure, you know, especially with a suppressor and it's just going to be like on a 556. So if you can have a, a bleed off system, which we sell here at Ballistic Advantage, a Scroll of Arms bleed off system for that barrel, if you can get that, then it's going to help you for sure. Okay. Lastly, Will you be doing any super detailed, complete, from the ground up, rifle slash pistol build videos in the future? Love the channel. Keep up the great work. Excellent. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense to uh, continue that. We did the builder series, you know, a while ago, but, you know, with new products, uh, the new uh, new 9mm sets from Angstat that we have going now, you know, some other parts that are coming down the road, yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense to cover those and just uh, also give these nice people just little tips on building if we haven't answered them in the past so yeah stay tuned we'll definitely do some more builder series 
Perfect. All right. You did such a good job. Thank you. I'm going to see how fast I can go. Thank you so much, Chris Howard, for your question. Thank you so much, Jeff, right behind the camera. Thank you so much, Jason Demo. Thank you so much again, Clint Hansen. You did such a good job. Guys, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon so that you get a notification every time we post a new video. We have new Q&A videos up every Thursday. What, what? Yeah, it's true. And if you want to see Clint Hansen or Jason Demo answer one of your questions, make sure to comment below. We sure can't wait to see what you send us. Yay! That was awesome. Holy sh- <gasps> I want to make, you know, do you remember? It, it, it's a little like a few years ago, but Shia LaBeouf's, the Boofs, motivational green screen video where he's like, just do it. I want to, I want to do that again. But me. Yeah, but don't you want to be taken seriously? Somehow for ballistic advantage. Don't you want to be taken seriously and actually do it and help people? I, I feel like he was a little forceful in those. Well, but that's part of why it was so motivating. I know, but there's got to be some backup of why you're motivating someone or how you're motiv motivating them to do something. Just do it. You know, what if they need, little, what if they need some guidance?